So there's a reason why I'm wearing a lot of makeup on my face at the moment, a lot of glitters, because uh, at work we're actually doing a festival look today. Um, if you didn't know, YouTube is not my job. I do this uh, for fun. I'm not getting paid. No one's sponsoring me. Um, so I actually have a job where I actually have to leave the house uh, to go do my job. I'm not going to tell you what my job is, but today is like a festival look, so I just thought I'd just put a bit of glitter on. But yeah, because I'm going to work after this, that's why I had to do obviously my makeup first so I can film this and then go straight to work. Hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy Shrine. So if you're new here then twice a week I do videos. So on Saturdays it's actually something from the shrine. So last one I did was actually my eBay princess haul. So if you're not seeing that then please go check that out. And on Wednesdays is actually another type of haul. I've been doing some summer ones recently. Like in my last one I actually did my tops. Like summer tops that I have. That obviously depends on obviously what kind of summer you have. Whether you have a hot summer or whether it's like a mild summer. Um, there's like different tops. Obviously Disney inspired. So this time I thought I would do the bags that I have and accessories. So just in case you go on holiday, whether it be like a week or just a couple days or even just a night, these are all the Disney bags that I have. So if you like this kind of videos, then please uh, like and subscribe and look at the bell notification. Obviously get notified when all my other videos goes up. So I thought I would start off with the bigger bags that I have and then work down to the smaller ones and then the accessories. So the biggest one I have, I would class this one as going away for a week, that kind of thing. So the biggest bag I have is this one here. So this is actually came from Primark. Now the reason why it's full of stuff is because I've actually got other bags in here. I actually use my bigger bags as storage when I'm not actually using them. But this one is a big bag and one thing I like about this, it actually has a zip in the side there. So for example like your passport or or drink or just like things that you need there and then and also it has like handles as well so it's easy to carry now I have actually taken these on holiday with me so when I went on holiday with my parents this is going about two years ago I think if I remember rightly um, me and my husband actually shared a bag because we were only going away for about 10 days and because it was very hot where we were going the clothes that we were taking were very like thin clothes obviously you didn't need like jumpers coats that kind of thing so we could actually fit two people's worth of clothes in these for 10 days days they do actually class this one as a storage bag and it was three pound fifty they do have other designs as well so they don't just do disney ones they also do like harry potter ones as well um but yeah so the one that i've got is the beauty and the beast one but they do have other designs as well now the next one they do actually class this one as a weekend bag so for example if you're only going for like i would say about three to four days just because it is a little bit smaller but this is actually one of my favorite ones to take when i go traveling and it's this one here so it's a lion key bag now one thing I love about this is not only does it have handles there but it also has a strap as well so just in case you do have a few heavy things in there that's one reason I really like this one now this one I've actually used for a while um, yet again I got this one from Primark honestly can't remember how much this was I think at the time it was in between five to ten pounds I'd say about seven pounds that kind of thing but I have a feeling stuff like this would only exist on eBay now so obviously I will try and find it down below for you but one thing I do like about this it does actually have a slip on there so it's just easy obviously and secure and also on the inside it's got a like, little pockets as well so you can put your phone and your drink and things like that in there and on the other side it's got a zip as well so you can put your passport and things but yeah I just every time I say visit my parents or like I said we're just going away for I would say about three or four days this one's a bit nice like this one just fits enough things in there and like I said it's not not too big so this one is actually one that they do a few of these um this one they've not actually had for a while but like I said on eBay that kind of thing but they're always bringing out new designs anyway now this one I would say is more of a say two nights that kind of thing so something that you're not obviously going away for too long maybe one or two nights I would say like a rucksack so this is my Vans one and this is the Dalmatian one that they have now they do have other designs they've done so many different ones like for example they've got like a peanuts range they've got a harry potter range obviously they've got toy story you know they've got a disney one as well um so i've got this one i also have the hat to match it and i've also got the van shoes as well so when i went around america as they like day trips or like i said if it's just like a one one or two night kind of thing this one i think just kind of fits nicely the one thing i like about this it does have a, adjustable straps as well so it has a pocket in the front as well so you can just put oh <laughs> saying that I've just got my mints in there so obviously when I go up 
I like to have my mints. So that's what I've got in there. The only thing I would say is negative about this is the fact that I do actually like rucksacks. I've got a bit on the side where you could put a drinks bottle in there. Um, I do have drinks bottles to have a screw top on there, so it's not too bad, but sometimes it's just easier to get to rather than having to go through the whole bag. So on this inside, it doesn't actually have any pockets or anything, so it doesn't have anywhere to like store anything or like your phone or your passport or you know any drinks I think so it's literally just everything goes in the bag so yet again there's anything I would say like I'm so used to having like a little divider so I can just put like you know like I said my drink or my phone or something that's it's easier to get to otherwise everything is just in the bag but other than that um it is quite sturdy it's quite nice my mum actually has the Woodstock one from the Peanuts range because I actually got her there for like a birthday or Mother's Day like present a couple years ago. So that's one that she used quite frequently. But yeah, I've got this one. And also my friend Lucy also has this one as well. So shout out to Lucy. Now the next two, I would say these are day ones. So these are the ones that you can obviously have during the day when you're out and about. Um, obviously at the beach or around town or just wherever you are. There are two different ones. So depending on obviously what type of style you like. So the first one is more of a rucksack type one, which is this one here. So this one I have actually taken to Disney with me on the basis that the type of material it's quite it's almost quite rubbery I would say so it's easy to clean so for example if you're out and about or if you spill water on it or if it gets you know it's rainy that kind of thing I kind of find something like this is quite nice yet again it's got adjustable straps on there so I do like the fact that it's got adjustable ones on there um, the only thing is it's literally just a big hole so um, you put stuff in there but the good thing is it's quite small so you can obviously find everything so this one I actually got from the Disney store but I did actually get it quite a while ago so we'll try and find on eBay for you but Disney still will always bring out new ones obviously Primark always bring out new ones but I just thought this was really cute just on the basis that it's quite small it's quite bright as well so obviously you'll be able to see it so for example if you're like oh I'm the one with the green bag <laughs> at least people will be able to see it but I just think it's kind of cute just the fact it's got a little Tinkerbell on there um, I know they did do other versions of this for example I think they did a Mickey Mouse one uh, I think they did a Cheshire Cat one as well so Tinkerbell wasn't the only one they did but yeah for like a day trip I quite like that one and also for a day trip but depending yeah again if you don't like the ones that go on the bag you got the sadder ones now this is actually my calf kids and one I do have a calf kids and um, video on all the bags that I have that are all the Disney ones so if you're not seeing that then please go check that one out but yes yeah, so this is one that I probably use the most to be honest because it has pockets so it's got like a zip at the top then it's got two pockets there so yet again put your phone your mints and things like that in there I actually have sweets in here Ooh. <laughs> I've got sweets in here, it shows how often I use this one. I'm always packing sweets in there. I've got my headphones in there, tissues, if you know me, I've always got tissues. But this one's quite nice, like I said, it is a saddle bag, and yet again, it's that material. So, like I said, if it's raining, or if you get like any drinks or anything on there, you can obviously wipe it down. So this one, again, has adjustable straps, so it depends on how long you like it on the body. I like mine to be just round about the hip, so that obviously if I need to get to it, I'm not having to kind of <laughs> lean down for it, I'm not having to pick it up to try and get to it. So I like it quite, quite high up but it's just if you didn't like the ones that like a rucksack type one that obviously goes over the shoulder that's one I'd recommend as well so the next one I actually use these ones for like toiletries so I've actually got my laden one downstairs in the bathroom so I'm actually currently using it that's why I didn't bring that one up I brought up this one because it's empty so I actually use this for toiletries so obviously when I stay somewhere like a hotel or go camping that kind of thing this is why I obviously put my toothbrush in and some like makeup and things like that and it's this little bag here so this is the Simba one. Now this one actually came from Primark and I just thought these are quite nice. You can use this as a day trip. For, you can obviously put it for like putting your sandwiches in there like a lunch if you want to have like a packed lunch that kind of thing. Um, it does have a zip on the top which is quite nice as well. Uh, the only thing is again it's nothing in there so there's no actual zips or anything in compartments but to be honest it is quite wide. That's why I like this one because you can fit quite a lot in there. Like I said I normally use these for actually like when traveling like putting like toiletries like hand luggage that kind of thing so I normally use this one for that but I do like the fact it's got a little handle but you could use it just as like a day trip if you didn't mind carrying it around so like I said just putting your phone in there or if you're going to the beach that kind of thing like suntan lotion so I quite like these ones they do bring a lot of these out in Primark if I remember right this wasn't too expensive I think it was only about two pounds that kind of thing so it's not that expensive for what it is but like I said I've just got the simple one now sticking with the Lion King theme I oh my god I was so like when Ruben my husband because if you didn't know he used to work in Primark he doesn't anymore as of about two weeks ago 
but um, one of the things that he used to look out for me was obviously Disney stuff and when I saw this I was like oh my god I've actually been wanting one of these for such a long time I didn't think they existed so for me personally not only getting this in the style I wanted but to actually get it as a Disney one I was like this is amazing now it depends on where you come from obviously I'm in England so I actually call them bum bags <laughs> Now, this is like the best thing ever. I've been wanting a bum bag for absolutely ages because sometimes I don't want to have a bag. Like if you've got like a really cute outfit on, you don't want to obviously then have like bags everywhere, like covering it up. So I was thinking, oh, I just need something like around my waist, like a bum bag. And I was like, where am I going to get a Disney one from? And I searched everywhere, one on eBay, I went on Wish, I Googled it and nothing was coming up. Then one day Ruben came home and he got me this. And I was like, oh my God. So this one was eight pounds. Like I said, this one came from Primark. I have yet to use it because I wanted to save it for this video, but it does actually um, have quite a bit of space in there, so obviously you can put your phone in there, you can put like your money, that kind of thing, so it's quite cute just to have. Um, it obviously is adjustable, so obviously you can adjust it around your waist, so it depends on obviously where you wanted to sit it, but I just thought this was the most, like, to me, I was like, oh my god, it's the most amazing thing ever. They, they do have a lot of more Lion King stuff come out, spoiler, there is a Lion King video coming out, because obviously with the movie coming out, I will be doing a Lion King video, so yet again, like I said, if you're not already, then please click the bell notification, then obviously you can notify when that video goes up. So it's a bit of a spoiler, but like I said, that is another Lion King video coming up. But I just thought that was really cute, just on the basis that it's very, it's not too Disney. Like obviously it is like neutral colours, it's browns and black, so it would go with more as everything. But I just love the fact that it's actually got Simba, uh, Timon and Pumbaa on there. And if you know me, this scene is like my favourite scene of them walking across the bridge. Like where you've seen Simba going from a young calf to a teenager to an adult that's like my favourite scene out of the whole film but yeah so this is one of the things I was like oh my god I have to include it in this video for you guys but like I said this is obviously like a day trip that kind of thing just put like essential stuff in now on to the accessories, I wasn't actually planning on putting these in this video but then I was like well just in case, for example if you're like me, I don't actually have like a suitcase that's Disney because all of my suitcases I bought like years ago and to be honest they didn't really exist back then so I think I've had my suitcase for about 10 years <laughs> and it's only I would say in the last 3 or 4 years, Primark and places like that have started to do Disney ones but because I've already got suitcases that work I don't want to have to buy new ones just because I got Disney on them so I was in Primark and I actually came across these so I thought these are really perfect if you've already got a suitcase but you want to like a Disney fire you can have these so this one here is a luggage strap so this is like a mini mouse one so this actually cost me four pounds from Primark and so it just means that you can actually pull it around your suitcase so for one you know that's your suitcase because most suitcases are either black or blue so unless you've got like an actual colored one it's another way of obviously knowing it's your suitcase in fact that's actually mini mouse I'm thinking for me when I do go to Disney if you didn't know we're going there in September we're actually going to Paris this is something that I you know makes my bag a little more Disney-fied. And then to go with that, I've actually got a padlock. Now this is super cute. Um, I don't tend to use key ones, just because we've actually got a lock that has like, the numbers on it, so you obviously got to get in the right right number sequence. So I just thought this was cute anyway. Uh, and this was only three pounds, so I kind of had to get it, just on the base that's really cute. But it's obviously got Mickey Mouse on there, but it's the colorings of Mickey Mouse. And even the key is red as well. But like I said, it's just a case that like, I didn't want you to feel like you had to buy a bag that, you know, that had to have Disney on it so you could obviously buy accessories to make your bag a bit more Disney-fied. Uh, another thing I was thinking of but I just hadn't got around to it is you can get patches so for example like your jeans or your jacket that kind of thing you can always put a patch onto your luggage bag obviously to disney -fy it that way and yet again just a good way of knowing if that's your bag or not because like I said when you go to the airport everyone's bags looks the same like I've always got a bit of ribbon around mine but I'm thinking just in case it comes off or what someone else has got the same colour ribbon so yeah so having stuff like this makes it so you know it's yours. Right, so that is it from this video. Like I said, I'm going for like a theme of summer things. So I do actually have another one coming up next week, which is also summer themed as well. So if you are going away, let me know down below where we're actually going. Like I said, we're not going away until September. So we're actually kind of missing the summer rush. And then we're actually going away for our one year wedding anniversary at the end of September. So we're actually going to Disneyland Paris. So yeah, so let me know if you're going away anywhere. Um, and that is it. So I hope you guys like this kind of videos and I'll see you guys next time. Later days. Oh, I forgot to mention, I made these is. <laughs> um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've got a Disney Days playlist. It's basically either makeup looks or tutorials on things. I've got how to make your own ears. So these ones I made, which I was obviously on my playlist. Also how to turn an old jumper into a cushion. So that recently went up um, in the week as well. So if you've not seen that. But yeah, so I just forgot to mention I made these ears.